Okay, in this video, we are going to look into how we can interface a microcontroller to the outside world. Now, the microcontroller we're going to look at is the Atmega 328P microcontroller, which is on my Nano, which you can see here. Now, the GPIO pins of the microcontroller can be configured as outputs or inputs. Now, as outputs, they could drive an LED directly, but for heavier loads, we need a buffer like this transistor, which will in energize my beeper. But in this video, we're going to concentrate on the GPIO pins as inputs, and as inputs, they could detect a voltage of 0 volts and 5 volts. Now, in the outside world, we're going to see a variety of voltages other than 0 volts and 5 volts, so somehow we have to convert those voltages we see in the outside world to 0 volts and 5 volts to be compatible with our microcontroller. Okay, I have a list of voltages that we will encounter in the outside world when we build our projects. And they are not 0 and 5 volts, so they're not compatible to the GPIO inputs. So the first one there is auto, automotive, so that's our car, and it's a 12 volt electrical system, 12 volts DC. RV is also 12 volts DC, so we'll have a voltage range of 12 volts to about 14.7 volts. Now some heavy duty trucks are 24 volts DC. A locomotive is 72 volts DC. Now telecom, that's our phone line. So it's 48 volts DC, and then we have 90 volts AC ringing voltage at 20 hertz. Then we have our mains power. Now in Canada, where I live, we have a split phase. So it's 240 volts and 120 volts. So we have a secondary transformer that's 240 volts with a center tap. And that center tap is a neutral. Now from neutral to either hot is 120 volts. And we have low voltage switching. That's 24 volts AC. And we see that on farms, irrigation, and thermostats. So all these voltages that we see in the outside world, we have to convert to 0 and 5 volts to be compatible with our GPIO input. And I have a solution for that. I have a circuit that will actually work on all these voltages. And it involves an optocoupler. Okay, here's my setup with my optocoupler, which we can see here. It's an 8-pin DIP chip. It's the HCPL3700. So this is a special optocoupler. It could handle input voltages, either AC or DC, from 5 volts to 240 volts. And all we need is one resistor on the input to the optocoupler. And the output of the optocoupler is feeding the GPIO input pin, pin 2, on my, on my Arduino Nano. And when she triggers, it's going to set off this beeper. So when it detects the voltage that we have it set up for on the input, the beeper will go off being driven by the Arduino Nano. So right now I have these resistors set up for 120 volts AC, so that's my mains power. So I'll hook up 120 volts and it will detect it and it will drive the beeper and will to sound the beeper. So you can see the block diagram. We have our voltage input from 5 volts to 240 volts, either AC or DC. And it goes through one resistor, RX. And that goes into the HCPL3700. And the output is our digital voltage 5 volts into our microcontroller. And here's the data sheet where you can see the voltage of AC or DC from 5 volts to 240 volts. Okay, here's my setup where we will detect 120 volts AC, that's my mains power. So we have to exercise caution when we're dealing with the mains power. So here's my power cord, and on the other end of the power cord I have two alligator clips. You can see here, and they're connected up to the two input resistors feeding my optocoupler. Now I have a program running on the Nano. So when the input GPIO pin 2 goes low, indicating 120 volts, it's going to activate the beeper. So I'll plug in my power cord into my power strip bar. And you can see it's detecting 120 volts when she's plugged in. So the open collector output of the optocoupler is feeding... Arduino Nano. So because it's open collector, we could actually feed other microcontrollers running on 3.3 volts, as this one is running on 5 volts. So that's my setup, how we could detect 120 volts using our optocoupler. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of our optocoupler, the HCPL3700. And you notice there's two inputs. There's an input for the AC voltage, which are pins 1 and 4. And then there's an input for the DC voltage, which are pins 2 and 3. So the AC input into pins 1 and 4 gets rectified by a full bridge rectifier and the output DC is fed into a Schmidt trigger. Now the DC input voltage goes directly to the Schmidt trigger and the Schmidt trigger drives a constant current source 
which drives the LED, turns on the LED. Now when we use the AC input, the output will be pulsating DC, so we have to put a capacitor between pins 2 and 3 to smooth out the pulsating DC into the Schmidt trigger, otherwise we'll get a square wave output on pin 6. Now when the LED turns on, the Schmidt trigger turns on the LED, the detector will detect that, and pin 6 output will go low, it's open collector, and that's connected up to the GPIO pin, pin 2. So it's open collector, so we have to enable a pull-up resistor in the microcontroller. Now pin 8 is VCC, we connect it to 5 volts, and pin 5 is ground, we connect it to the ground to the microcontroller. And you notice the grounds between the microcontroller and the input voltage are isolated. Okay, here's a chart where we can determine the value of Rx, the external resistor. Now on my breadboard, I actually had two resistors, so I split the value of Rx into two, so I could spread out the power dissipation amongst two resistors, and it was easy to connect up my alligator clips. Now this chart is set up for AC input with the smoothing capacitor across the bridge rectifier, and you can see the value of capacitors on the chart. Now on the x-axis, we have the external resistor value, and on the y-axis we have the external threshold voltage in RMS. So this is the threshold voltage. So we want a detection voltage of 120 volts AC. So our threshold voltage should be about 60% of that. So 60% of 120 is around 80 volts. So if we go to 80 volts, and we go over to the, to the line, that's our, that's our high trigger, and we go down, that's about 30K. So it, there, there's hysteresis involved. So it's going to trigger up uh, up voltage at, uh, at 80 volts, and when it comes down, it's going to trigger off at around 45 volts. So we have about 35 volts hysteresis between 80 volts and 45 volts with an external resistor of 30K. So on my breadboard, I had two 15K ohm resistors feeding my HCPL3700. Okay, here's a chart where we could determine the value of Rx for DC voltage detection an AC voltage detection without the smoothing capacitor. So when we add the smoothing capacitor across the bridge rectifier, across pins 2 and 3, we're actually loading it down so the, the resistance will be a bit different so they have a different chart. So for an example, if we want to detect a voltage of 80 volts DC, so we pick our threshold voltage, 65% uh, of that, so that will be around 50 volts. So we have a threshold voltage of 50 volts and if we go to 50 volts and we go down, that's 20K resistor. So it's a 20K ohm resistor for RX. And on the high threshold, it's going to trigger at 50 volts. And on the low threshold, it's going to trigger at 25 volts. So we'll have a 25 volt hysteresis uh, for, for detecting 80 volts. So this is a chart that we could use for DC voltage and for AC voltages without the smoothing capacitor. Okay, so now you know how the circuit works. And here are my RX resistors of 15K each. But if you want to use a single resistor, you could use a 30K ohm resistor feeding the optical coupler. And here's my smoothing capacitor. It's a 10 microfarad, 25 volt smoothing capacitor. And 25 volts is adequate for this capacitor because the bridge rectifier internal to the optical coupler is made up of Zener diodes, which acts as a voltage clamp. Now the output, pin 6 of the optical coupler, is open collector, and that's fed into D2 of the GPIO, so you have to enable the pull-up resistor inside the microcontroller for the output to work properly. So that's the circuit there, so if you ever want to detect any voltages from 5 volts to 240 volts, you know which chip to use, the HCPL3700.